Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Cook with Sana Kuram. This is Sana. Today I am going to share with you a very refreshing and delicious summer special drink made with milk, sago and vegetarian jelly cubes. No doubt this would definitely turn out to be a real summer treat for all of you. Now come, let's get on to the recipe. Let's first start with making jelly cubes. Take a saucepan and add 1 liter of water to it. These are jelly crystals. Each pack contains 100 grams of jelly crystals. I have taken 2 packets. Transfer the jelly crystals into 2 heat resistant glass containers. To dissolve 100 grams of jelly, you need 500 ml of hot water. So for 200 grams of jelly, 1000 ml or 1 liter of boiling hot water is required to set the jelly. So out of 1000 ml of water that we have boiled, pour 500 ml in the first glass bowl. So 500 ml of hot water in each bowl, that's it. Mix thoroughly with the whisk to avoid lumps. You can see the jelly solution is clear without lumps, keep aside. Now pour the reserved 500 ml of boiling water into the second bowl and whisk thoroughly and keep them aside. Let them attain room temperature after which you can refrigerate for one hour for the jelly to get set. Now we can start cooking the sago or sabudana pearls. Take a saucepan and add 4 cups of water to it. Once the water starts boiling, add half a cup of sago or sabudana pearls. Cook the sago over a medium flame and keep stirring with a spatula, you know, so that the pearls don't get stuck at the bottom of the pan. After 10 minutes of cooking, we can check the sago is still hard and chewy, so we need to cook further. Cooking the sago perfectly is the most important part of this recipe. The sago should turn out soft and should have a melt in mouth texture. And after 25 minutes of cooking, the sagos have turned transparent and soft. Now switch off the stove and drain the mixture. Cooking time may change depending upon the size and the variety of the sago. Now pour ice cold water over the drained sago so that you know they don't get stuck with each other. Once cold water is poured, there would be no further cooking and due to the sudden change in the temperature, the pearls remain separate and you know they never turn soggy at all. Now you can see the texture of the sago, they are soft but not mushy. Now keep them aside. Now the jellies have been said, we can cut them into small small squares. This way. Strawberry jelly gives very good flavor to the sharbat. Now never you know cook the jelly over the stove top. Just pour boiling water over them otherwise they will not get you know set properly. You can see the jellies have been cooked perfectly. You can see the texture. Keep them aside. Now take a big bowl and pour one and a half liters of chilled milk into it. So boiled and chilled milk I have used. Add half a cup of sugar and mix till the sugar dissolves completely. You can also use powdered sugar. To this add one teaspoon of rose milk essence and mix well. This is different from the regular rose essence as you know this contains rose color and rose flavor as well. Now add the sagos followed by the jelly cubes that we have cut. Add them gently and mix very gently and garnish with blanched and chopped pistachios or you can even use almonds or any dry fruits you can use. Now our yamalicious sago drink or sabudana sherbat is ready to be served. Friends, if you like this video, please hit a like and please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell icon so that you will not miss out my new uploads. Thank you very much for watching my video. Meet you all in my next upload. Till then, this is Sana signing off with lots of love.